Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally, and I mean literally, does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. It's the calm before the storm. Tomorrow, we have our first uh, preseason game. Can't wait to see that. And um, it's going to be great to see some of the young players that we are going to truly have to rely on if this season is going to be good. But I have good news for you guys because I was mystified because I saw the Dallas Cowboys have gained cap space. In fact, the Dallas Cowboys are at the pinnacle of their cap room and i want to show you they've moved up big time majorly they got 29 million 29 million dollars of cap space right now oh my god look, look, take a look look at this let's put this up on the screen okay look at that right now the san francisco 49ers have 52 million leading the nfl the lions that have signed all kinds of players this year have 42. the new england patriots who made a big offer for brandon Ayuk, have 42. the commanders with the left hand up who are we the commanders they have 36 the raiders who might be interested in dak prescott if we don't get him under contract have 34. The Cardinals have 33, the Cleveland Browns have 29, and the Dallas Cowboys, America's cheapest team, has 29 million. Oh my God. Are we about to be having a, a massive spending spree? Probably not because we have Stephen Jones. And as we go through, because I was like, wait a minute, I thought we only had $11 million. When did that change? When did that change? Where did it come from? Did I miss a rollover or something? Oh, no. As we go up here at the moment, as we sit here right now, we got $55 million cap hit from Dak Prescott that we know for this year. And we got $40 million of dead money next year if they decide they do not want to get him signed. Then I was going through, and then we got Demarcus Ware as the next hit, which is $20 million, right? Right. We know D-Law, which will be um, more of a, a void year we have to pay next year if he's not re-signed and so on, and don't structure that down the road. We got Zach Martin at $15 million right there, so, you know, and, and things. And then we got Diggs at 14 and then Terrence Steele at 11 and I was like, wait, wait, something's missing. Something is missing. Oh, C.D. Lamb's money, even though he's under contract, if we go down the list here, okay, to where all the money is on, on the Cowboys going, okay, see, it's the first 51 players is what counts against the cap. All these other guys that are down the list and stuff that are not part of the 53, those guys don't count against the cap because they look at that and say, that's chump change. But as we get down here, we have... Our injured reserve, Sam Williams, costs us 1.6. Corey Crohn's costing us 478. So that's 2 million. And there you see that's where C D Lamb is. Yep, C D Lamb. Suspended. Suspended. And so he caps zero against the cap. Oh, and, and for just a little extra knowledge here in case you want to know. This is the dead money hits that we are taking, okay? Um, this is where Cowboys have made mistakes and gotten rid of guys who let players go or they have uh, put voidable years in. Zeke Elliott, when you see $6 million right there, that's from where we cut him last year. That's dead money. That's not what we're paying him this year. That's the dead money hit. And then there's Tyron Smith because we didn't re-sign him. It's another $6 million there. Michael Gallup. You look and say, oh, well, we got rid of Michael Gallup, but, you know, it only cost us $4 million. Keep in mind, next year there's a dead hit of $8 million added there. Um, of course, Dorrance Armstrong, who was a voidable year. Leighton Vander Esch, retired early. Boss Man Fat, who was let go, and Jabril Cox. So that's $20 million in dead money. Yeah. So as you go through here and look at that, that's where we are. Now, I'm just sitting here in my mind because we are trying to expect the Cowboys to do something 
that they don't like to do or don't normally do, okay? Because I want you to think about the Dallas Cowboys typically wait till the last minute to do anything, first of all. First of all, they don't like to pay contracts. They want to wait as long as possible. And when you think about how many times the Dallas Cowboys have franchise tagged, and we've heard them talk about franchise tagging, you know, as, as Stephen Jones was asked, you know, well, there's there's the franchise tag too, you know, uh, tools. There's there's tools available to us that uh, we can use and things. You know, we feel good about the contract negotiations, and you know, there are the franchise tags. Um, does anybody else think um, that he is not getting a new contract like I am? Um, when you think about Dalton Schultz, when you think about Tony Pollard, when you think about Dak Prescott twice, when you think about uh, D-Law, I would dare say that the Cowboys probably use the franchise tag and fifth-year options more than any other team. Doesn't make sense because here's where it's kind of tragic because as we look at this $29 million and say when C.D. Lamb comes back to camp, he's going to be $17 million of a cap hit. Um, which will leave us back to the original 11 that we had. But if we just think about, let's say we just go crazy. So, you know what, CD, you know, it's all water under the bridge, okay, or water over the dam, or, or the water's just gone out to the ocean, okay? It's just gone. Let's just give you, because we don't know how to do contracts, we screw the pooch. Let's just say we're going to match Justin Jefferson's contract. Justin Jefferson's, okay? Because Justin Jefferson, okay, his contract would be pretty much like CD's because CD's situation. Saved the Minnesota Vikings cap. His cap number this year is only $8 million. The next year is 15. The year after it does jump up to 38. But that's still in comparison because they're saving $9 million this year on this cap. So here's the thing. Here's where it's crazy. If the Cowboys were to get C.D. Lamb and just say, C.D., we're just giving you Justin Jefferson's contract right now, today. Come on in. We're done. They would be sitting right now with $20 million in cap space. They would have him under contract. He'd only be $15 million for next year. And as it currently sits, they have $65 million right now for next year. So even if you take that 15 that 15 from the 65 and if you don't do anything with that 20 that would put the Dallas Cowboys at $70 million for next year in cap space now granted you still have to do something with Dak and you'll probably need to do something with Micah unless you're going to go that route again and say you're going to play on the fifth year option and then we're going to franchise tag you because we them boys what I'm saying is here is when you look at San Francisco and their situation is Brandon Ayuk is still a part of the roster at the moment that $52 million they have on the roster is including the $14 million for Ayuk, as well as the $28 million hit for Debo Samuels. So nobody understands. I, I don't understand why the hell we keep waiting. All we've done is pissed off a player. Um made it harder on your offense because you don't have one of your weapons there cost you more money if there is a win for the Dallas Cowboys organization I don't see it it seems like it's all negatives but hey you know I'm not a big businessman that's made billions of dollars or anything like that I am Joe the fan that just gets tired of the dysfunction and would hope 
that we could get this thing resolved before we get too far down the road. As it stands now, CD has lost $1.5 million in fines that's non-refundable. So there's that. But tomorrow, we have our first preseason game, and uh, can't wait to be there and to uh, give you all the sights and sounds of SoFi Field, and I'll be able to mark that one off my list of uh, NFL stadiums that I've actually been to. So I hope you guys are having a great Saturday night, and I will see y'all soon. Peace out.